Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and let's go ahead and do a read for the month of December 2021, all right? So let's jump into this. Uh, let's take a look at what uh, are the sentiments. Uh, this is going to be what the universe wants you to know. If you're looking for career, love, and money, or my bi-weekly love reads, you'll see that at the end of this video, all right? So uh, let's jump into this. Uh, let's take a look at what your energies are. Currently, right now, let's take a look at where you're at at this moment, all right? What's uh, up with Virgo here okay uh, why was I getting that uh, sometimes all I need to uh, uh, sometimes um, being validated is all that I need okay so I don't know if that is coming up for some of you um, but that that's what came through okay so let's take a look in and, and see how that relates to the message here okay all right what's happening with, with Virgo on December 2021 what is going on for virgo what do we have here so we've got the eight of swords uh this is gemini libra aquarius energy guys so this is all about you actually seeing the light of what has tied you up previously okay this is about being imprisoned uh but self-imprisoned right and I think that the uh, the actual eagle in the sky is giving you a higher perspective of something or uh, is giving you a, uh, you know, kind of alternative view or some sort of signal that's helping you understand uh, something that has left you imprisoned or some, you know, a certain way of thinking. Because we look at it, this side here is actually not seeing anything, right? Not seeing anything. The eagle's not in the sky. It's not flying there. Uh, this is seen like really being shut down, you know, from the situation. But I really feel here is that uh, that there is an opportunity of a message being delivered to you, perhaps even from the spiritual realm that is looking, is having you see something from a different perspective, right? You're no longer imprisoned within a situation, right? So that's what I feel that is coming. There is a, a shift that is happening here because it's an eight card and that brings in balance of that infinity symbol, right? So that will bring in some balance. So let's take a look at Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Uh, anything else that wants to come through? What do we have? Woo, okay. This is the Ace of Cups, uh, intimacy and compassion, okay? This is also about loving yourself because we all know that fountains do that. Like they, they, they push up water and they bring it down and they recirculate water, right? This is about emotions, feeding you love, uh, you know, for yourself. And I think that this is letting you, re, you know, kind of reminding you to love yourself and look at something from a different perspective. Now, this is whatever's brought you to my channel, okay? But that is truly what's coming through. And whatever it is, this love for yourself brings in peace, right? There's this dove coming through and it brings in some sort of peace, right? And it brings forth a lot of blessings. Look at all these uh, lilies that are just blooming, you know, in the pond there. So... I think it's really quite beautiful here. Uh, there is an opportunity for intimacy and compassion, uh, and it does start with you. All right, and this is card wants to remind you of that. So whatever's kept you in prison, it wants you to kind of get rid of that, okay? What's going to help you within this process? Uh, I am going to pull another card here to see um, what might help you within this process where you're at. Compassion compassion for yourself right and and for others but again that starts with you and and that purple is the crown chakra this reduces to an 18 then reduces to a nine and nine's about coming to fruition so you truly are understanding that you know that universe has something to teach you that uh i think that you're getting some sort of guidance and i think that the hawk was kind of you know the eagle was or, or whatever that was is some sort of message that's coming down to offer compassion towards yourself right because it, it does it does start with you okay so yeah and this is about you know i don't know it's about having compassion uh for yourself uh, and provide yourself with the emotional and physical stability that you need uh, or the safety that you need. Because I also felt that for some of you, it could have to do with safety for some reason. Yeah, um, yeah. for safety, it's just like, uh, uh, you know, others are not going to provide that for you. It's something that you have to provide for yourself, you know, safety and love. And that comes with you first. So let's take a look at what it is that you need to focus on, uh, Virgo here. Let's take a look at what that is for you. 
what the universe wants you to know in the month of December 2021. All right, guys, let's take a look what this is. What do we have? Cancer energy. So this is the chariot card. Okay. So this is about balancing out your light and your dark side, even though that they might look different ways, right? The light side's looking here, the dark side's looking here. Uh, and this has you having a new lease uh, kind of leash on life with this, uh, new life, uh, you know, symbol in his hand and moving forward with faith. Okay, so now when you break the chains of being imprisoned by an old way of thinking and you focus on having compassion for yourself and others, but start with you, that actually fills your cup up first so you can feel solid and, and, and have that faith that's unwavering on whatever it is that you're looking for. And this could be a, you know, relationship, a situation, a job, whatever this is. This is about, you know, taking action and moving forward. Okay. So that's what's coming through here. It's, it's a, a seven card that's about having faith. So what you need to focus in on is have faith and take action on what it is that you want. Okay. Anything else, any other message for you here? What do we have? Oh, nice. Okay. The hair font energy. Okay. So this is saying is that something is coming into play here. Now I get parenting, uh, and something maybe as a child is that, uh, that you kind of found your child self found the key to the situation. So this could be like an old template from childhood of some sort, but now you see things clearly, right? And this is Hierophant energy. Okay. So this is Taurus energy. You might have Taurus within your chart or might be dealing with the Taurus, uh, or you again, you're just taking on this energy. Um, but this is saying that you've got the key to the situation and it maybe perhaps had to do with previous parenting and you're having to reparent yourself. Uh, and, uh, it allows you to, you know, move forward and, and, uh, for those of you that, uh, you know, want to have children or have chosen about parenting others, right? Uh, parenting your children. Uh, but I think that you've got the key to the situation and uh, that is now bringing you peace. He's got that peace sign there, right? So it's about bringing peace to one's self. And your best way forward is to have faith and to know that you can shift a way or a belief uh, in terms of making changes. And if you need help with that, uh, hence uh, beyond the read up here or in my description box below, uh, even rapid change session might help as well. So uh, that's what I get for you, what you need to focus in on, okay? What is your recent past? This is it. This was it, okay? Um, it ha Yeah, it had to do with the past. This is like a past, it's a home life of the past because this is uh, remembering uh, innocence and nostalgia and this is home life, getting balance and harmony at home, okay? It maybe had to do with a marriage, uh, whether yours or your parents or, you know, a family. But whatever this case may be is that you are springboarding into this uh, December from something from the past uh, that, uh, you know, this is about having to do with harmony, right? Harmony of the home. You guys are going to know what that is for you. I'm going to pull a numerology card on this, uh, and take a look at what that is for you here. What is that from the recent past that we have here? It communication. Yeah. It's about how you communicate with yourself and how you communicate with others, whether, you know, it was how that you were parented, uh, you know, growing up or how you need to parent yourself or your own children. Um, whatever the case may be, it's about a birthing of something new. You now have a new way of confidence communication, right? Confidence in your communication because that yellow is the solar plexus chakra. So this is about communicating in a whole new way, birthing a new way of communication towards yourself uh, that bring, can bring forth a lot more harmony, especially relating to partnerships and things like that. Okay. So note your comments below guys, uh, and definitely, uh, draw, you know, smash that like button and, um, definitely, uh, smash that bell as well, because that'll let you know the d different videos that I, uh, put out as well. Let's take a look, Virgo, at your strength position and for the month of December and what that is for you here. Okay. What do we have? Okay. Nice. Yeah, you're healing. Uh, this is Aquarius energy. You might have that in your chart, dealing with one or just taking on that energy. But this is you healing and having faith. 
following your North Star and what that is for you here. Not giving up on your dreams, having faith. And remember that uh, what you need to focus in on, you got the Cancer energy, the chariot. This is about having faith when you move forward. But I think that you're doing some sort of healing of some sort that is coming through here, okay? Um, yeah, doing some sort of healing, right? And uh, really thinking about ways that you can be more consistent um, with yourself in terms of healing or a way of being uh, because maybe some sort of inconsistencies of some sorts, um, you know, thoughts, uh, you know, that have maybe perhaps had held you back. But this wants you to balance things out, have faith, don't give up on your dreams, follow your true north. Um, anything else for you here? Wow, we got the Knight of Wands. So we, you, in your strength position, we've got passion moving forward, okay? Now, this is uh, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Now, this could be you or, uh, you know, you could be taking on this energy of moving forward passionately after healing. Or this could be someone that is actually coming in towards you. Uh, a knight is all about motion. Now, the Knight of Wands is all about passion, energy. Uh, they, they kind of rush in pretty quick. So if you're interested in someone of this sign, this is just slow it down a little bit. You, 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 I feel like you're, there's maybe some sort of healing having to do with someone that was rushing in or the motion of something energetically rushing in and out. Uh, let's take a look. Give me one more card in your strength position. Or it could be someone that might help you here. Let's take a look. Give me more on this a Knight of Wands. Okay, this fire energy. Okay. Okay, I guess my initial reaction was great, but here we go. Uh, this is got the Nine of Swords, okay? The Knight of Wands produced the, knight, uh, the Nine of Swords. And this is letting go of an anxiety, depression, or despair. Uh, and it could have been regarding uh, someone that energetically uh, moved very, very fast, right? Wanted to take things forward very, very fast. And you were just actually going through perhaps maybe some sort of healing or you know, whatever the case may be, but this, uh, this is actually giving up on any sort of you know, past energy. And what I like about this is that it's coming to fruition. So it's a nine. You, you're just there, right? You're right there. And it's in your strength position to, to get rid of that. Easier said than done. But this is about being, you know, if you're taking on this energy, this is about you being passionate and working hard and doing that as you heal. Okay. And so for some of you, you could be going through that, okay? So uh, that's very, very key, and that's in your strength position, okay? So anything else that wants to come through in your strength position? Surrender, okay? So surrender, uh, this is, you know, surrendering to the situation of things that you can't control, all right? This has to do uh, surrender to spirit. Uh, that is your crown chakra. Uh, you know, maybe you had a strong passion towards for someone because that's a sacral chakra energy. But this is all emotions of the body. Surrender the emotions of the body and then offer it up to spirit uh, in terms of your healing, in terms of anything that you might be going through here. But that's what I see. Now, what is in your near future here? Let's take it forward here. What's in your near future? Wow, this came out. What is this? Ah, we got the Page of Cups. Wow, there could be uh, someone that is younger that could be moving towards you, or uh, uh, it could be a young love, or uh, you know, it could be even be a child as well. But nevertheless, uh, this is someone offering a cup of love. It's 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 a page, so you could be getting a message from someone offering some sort of opportunity that uh, from emotions there. Okay, anything else that wants to come through from this near future? Let's take a look. What do we have? Wow. And I think you're not feeling too good about that, right? You're like thinking, oh gosh, uh, I don't want to kind of move forward with this. You're kind of in that, kind of that, that sour state of mind here is what I feel here. But that's okay. What's, what's going to happen? This is an opportunity. I guess you've got an opportunity coming through and you're, you're just not really focused in on uh, moving forward. Okay. Um, it is the Four of Cups. And Four of Cups is about some sort of, you know, uh, contemplation before you move forward. So that is a little bit more of contemplation. Let me pull another card on this and see what else wants to come through here. Okay, so then we've got the death card. So this is putting something to an end. I think that what you're doing is that there is some sort of ending with someone, um, you know, in, in terms of having a new beginning of some sort. And maybe they, there's been past disappointments, could have been with a certain situation. 
and you need to change your way of doing something because the pattern wasn't wasn't the, the same old wasn't working so there is a death card here so knowing that you've got the death card capricorn energy what is your best way forward here it's uh i want to take a look at what that is here but yeah interesting oh actually it's uh scorpio energy guys um capricorn is the devil energy but yeah it's a scorpio energy might be dealing with the scorpio Okay, let's take a look. Uh, what is your best way forward here for you? What's your best way forward that wants to come through for Virgo? What do we have? Best way forward. Wow. This is about uh, coming together uh, in some sort of agreement, whether it's agree to disagree or whatever the case may be, but you each have to love yourself first, right? There's the woman with the fountain, right? And it's all about, you know, loving one's self. And you got that from the very, very beginning. Isn't this interesting? You see that same picture in the very back, right guys? So this is just a reminder. Are you loving yourself? Do you feel strong and solid uh, here? Uh, and uh, your best way forward is is coming together with compassion. Uh, this is uh, seeing a person's other point of view. This could be an opportunity or some sort of agreement, all right? Uh, if you're not romantically involved, this could be some sort of agreement or partnership of some sort. Anything else on this Two of Cups, which is water energy coming through here that wants to come through. Anything that wants to come through on this uh, Two of Cups for Virgo here. There it is. What is it? Ooh, we got the queen of pentacles. Okay. I don't know your, the back is turned. So I don't know if your back is turned towards someone or if you're just looking over your future and seeing, well, what does this look like? What is it that I want? Right? So I feel that that could be coming into play. You're just very careful of where you put your energy. You've got that lucky rabbit there that is, is, uh, can kind of help you, but you're just not going to hop into something. You're going to take your time and review it. Uh, you know, nature is, is uh, kind of working with you. You go with the pulse of nature, uh, motherly uh, type of energy. Uh, you could be a mother, you know, but it's that down to earth motherly energy. And uh, it's kind of like things are still cloudy, right? I don't know from the situation that there's still dust. Uh, I don't know. Is that like there's still dust that's there? Because if you look at the other side, of look how clear that is, right? So the dust hasn't cleared quite yet from something, all right? Uh, and that's what I see here, okay? It has to do with a relationship or some sort of partnership. Give me one more card. Um, best way forward. Focus on, it's focusing on you guys. Wow. Uh, this is about being very, uh, you know, independent, strong, in luxury, uh, and very in deep gratitude for, you know, where it is that you're at right now. And again, you know, birds there too. Birds are around you. Nature just loves you. And it's really coming through. So this is being very solid and grounded. You're rarely really happy here. Your best way forward might be to focus in on you. Um, because there we go. There's that rabbit there again, that lucky rabbit. Uh, some of you might have a rabbit <laughs> or an animal that acts like one. <laughs> so, uh, but in any event, uh, it's coming through here, uh, getting out in nature and uh, you're just feeling very plentiful for some reason on your own. I don't, it's what's coming through. What are your hopes? What are your hopes in this situation? Uh, whatever's brought you to my channel. What are your hopes? Okay. What do we have? This is the seven of wands. Okay. So the sevens are having faith. Wands are about, um, this is about, you know, self-confidence and progress, but uh, it's a seven, yeah, having faith. You know, this is about persevering. Whatever it is that you want, you've got the higher ground about whatever that's holding you or keeping your, like the, that it's trying to get your attention. Any other competitors or obstructions, you're on higher ground. So it's about having faith that you've got the upper hand in something, okay? Let's continue this. I want to take a look. Anything else in your hopes that you can continue to process something that's having to do with the Tower card, okay? Tower card is unexpected and unavoidable. Something coming down. That even though that something's coming down, for some reason, you're on higher ground. You become on higher ground. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. So something, your, your hopes is that whatever comes down, that you feel that you're at higher ground, you will be. Wow. What is the overall outcome for Virgo here? Interesting, Virgo. Very interesting. Okay. Let's take a look. What is this overall outcome here? What do we have? 
Oh, wow, guys. You know what you got? You got the Wheel of Fortune. Wait, hold on a second here. It's a 10 card. Is this the, in this, in this deck, is this the judgment? No, this is uh, the Wheel of Fortune. This is like everything is shifting. A new life, new change. Something's turning around. Something's changing. Wow, because I don't see the scales, right? Okay, good. Okay, so there's not the scales here. So and it's, it, these cards are so different. They're different than the regular tarot. So it's a little bit different here, but um, it's the Wheel of Fortune. So the universe is working with you. The outcome is the change is here for you for a brand new life, new energy. So this is telling you whatever way that you want it to go, You've got the opportunity to make it happen, all right? Because the, the universe is co-creating with you. And I think that's why you've got surrender. Like, you know, you've got surrender in your strength position. And especially when you get the tower card here, that, uh, again, things need to shift. And this is the way that's going to happen. This is the way it needs to happen. Whoa. I'm going to pull a numerology card here. Beautiful energy, guys. Beautiful energy. You know, this is your, your, your soul is on this journey right now, Virgo. And this is seeing, this is about a positive influence of events and circumstances. Um, you know, and, and that's what this is saying. Wow. The master of mysteries is what this is. Okay. Hmm. He doesn't master the wheel of fortune, but he can master a new life, right? Let's take a look at anything else that wants to come through here. Give me one more card relationship change guys maybe there's a change in a relationship i think that was the theme all the way to the end wasn't it kind of interesting how that worked right so there's a communication of the heart and i think that you might share that with someone could be you could be on the receiving end but why do i feel that you're making this change um it's a 56 card which brings it to a master number 11 one by one so there's a new gateway to go through a new way a new opening of a new way of being, of a new life. And that's what this symbol represents, new life. Things are changing for you. Wow, this is beautiful, guys. Really, really beautiful. You know, congratulations. It is of your choosing. And I think that, the you know, by you getting the Wheel of Fortune, this just means that, that the ground is fertile for anything that you want to plant. So... Uh, get your manifesting on, right guys? Definitely do that. So, all right guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. Note your comments below, uh, drop a like, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.